So yeah, uh, let's install Raspberry Pi. So yeah, as you can see, there was a booting screen and now uh, noobs booted and we can select um, our operation system. So let's select Raspbian since it's recommended and press install. Yes, and that's it. And now it's installing and it will take about well about 20 minutes you know it's still installing the operation system so it will, it will take a while so just wait and that's all to control the raspberry pi uh, you should use mouse and keyboard but since i don't have one i use this i use this keyboard from a smart tv um, a lot of people know these uh, dongles that have Android system in them and to control it on your TV use this use this um, kind of keyboard remote control and it has a dongle so yeah I just uh, I just put the dongle in USB and that's it and it works as you can see, I can use like even a mouse, you know. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So yeah, you don't really even need a keyboard or mouse if you have one of these. So yeah, and that's it. Just press OK, and it it restarts, and now it boots. OK. Okay, it's just booting now. So yeah, this is normal. Okay, now we have to set up this is first time uh, setup screen. So yeah, basically changing password, uh, no user passwords, uh, enable camera overclocking, various options, you know. So yeah. So, all right. Okay, now I have to see how this works. This is how it works. So yeah, it restarted and now it's rebooting. And basically that's it. You're all done. Oh yeah. As you can see now it's now it shows Raspberry file again. My login is uh, pi and the password is raspberry and that's it okay if you want uh, to to see the guy G U I. Uh, I'm fucking stupid. You uh, you write start start X, and that's it. Now you can see the desktop. You can see the mouse. All right. Focus, please. Okay, that's it. And basically, I can use it now like a computer. We can go to menus, programming, see what's installed. Oh, cool. There's already Mathematica and Wolfram. Awesome on Python store. And uh, there's even a Minecraft. Cool. How cool is that? There's already Minecraft installed, so yeah. Let's 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 start it. So it it takes some time to start. No, it's it's still not not a desktop computer, but yeah, it's pretty fast. It works pretty fast. Okay, by addition, 
we gonna create new it's gonna be really hard to play like this yeah I, sh I should buy a mini keyboard with mouse or something well I have I have a mouse but you know for a keyboard this is pretty hard to pretty hard to use all right runs move runs really nice like I don't know 60 FPS no it's smoother it is smooth as it can get it it won't be better I think okay I'm going, okay so yeah I'm playing with my one hand obviously but as you can see it plays nicely you can choose all the resources and stuff so yeah awesome and we can quit the title and exit how I'm, how I'm going to exit oh, okay so yeah I can let's go to menu okay this does no oh command line I guess this is yeah this is RAM also known as command line preferred audio jack control keyboard mouse so yeah, this is all the configure. This is basically a control panel and accessories. What's in accessories? Calculator, image river, task manager. Okay. CPU usage three percent. Nice. One percent. Okay. Memory of fifty five megabytes out of one gigabyte used. So we, yeah, this is this is pretty nifty. Oh let's let let's run again. A Minecraft and see how much it uses CPU uses okay let's see. let's log in holy shit CPU usage only 11% and runs smoothly and memory usage is usage is only 84 megabytes so yeah this is pretty smooth this is pretty pretty good yeah I'm just walking around it still uses only 5% so you actually can see how powerful the CPU is based based on this game because on Raspberry Pi the old one you know the first model um, it was hard to tackle um, the performance of of Raspberry Pi playing Minecraft because it on, not only lagged uh, you also needed to overclock at least a little bit, you know, to, to run it better. And also, uh, it used most of the CPU power and RAM, I guess. I don't know how much is used RAM. So yeah, as we can see, Minecraft actually uses only four percent of CPU. So yeah, that's that's awesome. So yeah, this is basically like almost like a desktop computer, you know, it's move really uh, it's really fast and really nice. Awesome. So yeah, okay. See you next time.